Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I've got a new project on the go here. Um, I want to use my old paper digi, the volume 2 one that I just that came out with, um, to do something fun, and I kind of want something a little bit more masculine than what I normally do. So um, that's kind of what I'm working on. This is a 9 by 12, um, you know, manila, manila, easy for me to say, uh, envelope. And so what I have done is taken out the little metal clasp right there, and then I cut it down. So now it is 10 and a half by 9. So I just cut the end off cut it at ten and a half and it's nine long and it's ten and a half to this fold I'm not counting the flap so essentially what I'm gonna have is something like this that closes I put a piece of acetate all the way through the middle of it because we're going to do um, a technique on this and I hope it works <laughs> haven't tried it well I did do it on um, my first the first junk journal that I ever made and so you can kind of see on here this is the effect but I'm using some different um, materials than I used for this particular uh, or, uh, journal and um, this was a hardbound book to begin with that was bright orange and so it may work on this it may not I have no idea but we're just gonna mess with it together and I just kind of wanted to show you what I am doing so I have a cup and a spoon and I'm gonna add some tacky glue and there's no precise like measurements you don't have to be super precise with this stuff because it's not like we're baking or doing something that requires you know super precision so I'm just putting you can see a glob of tacky glue in there you could also use Elmer's glue it's just a little thinner and because I'm going to add some coffee to this um, you know I don't want to thin it down a ton but I have done it with Elmer's glue that's actually how I did the other book that I just showed you sorry I'm trying to get my paint brushes <laughs> um, so I'm just using an icky paintbrush that's been glued and whatever else you can possibly imagine and then this is coffee that I brewed this morning just regular old coffee this is just what was left over so I'm just going to add some to my glue just to color it basically because I want that um, you know that coffee dyed brownish kind of a look I, was, I do have my music on I'll turn it down because I know we're not supposed to hear it I just like to have my music on and then I'm going to stir this up and if you think it's too thin you can add more glue if you think it's too thick you can add more coffee whatever you want it's you're just trying to get that that color in your glue to um, add to the paper itself and I may end up using my little um, spray bottle that I have too if I think it needs a little more see now it's not very dark but when it dries you'd be surprised it does add a little bit of that coffee color and like I said if we want to we can add um, you know more just coffee afterwards so I have um, this stuff and I have tea bags flying around the room <laughs> so I just have tea bags that I've cleaned out and um, you know pour open and all that to get the tea out I don't need that um, and I also have the paper towels that I used yesterday to coffee or tea stain actually this is tea staining um, some paper so I uh, tea stained all these and so I'm left with these paper towels that I put between and I got looking at them and thought originally I wasn't going to do this but I think I'm going to give it a try um, thought that like this is really cool so I'm going to try to take some of the layer off of this and I'm going to use a piece of tape kind of like we do with napkins I just want to see if I can get some of that um, that look on my this kidding tape sorry thought I was prepared but you know I'm never completely prepared because why would I do that that'd be no fun um, I just want to get kind of the top bit off and I think these are like two ply or whatever oh, well, we're gonna find out if we can separate them at all yep okay and I don't know if this will work because I don't know if the texture will stay or go or what but we're just gonna try it 
because it's just an envelope that I can toss if it doesn't work. But it may look kind of cool, so I'm going to try it. And it's definitely got that color, you know. So between those and the tea bags, I don't need this plastic tray. Or it's just a lid, but I use it when I'm tea dyeing and stuff. And this is my old icky um, glue mat that I can get glue on and I don't really care. So let's start. And then I also have some of this green paper that you can get at uh, Home Depot in the painting department if you haven't, if you don't already have it. I think you can also get it on Amazon. And it's a lot thinner than a lot of the craft papers, um, but it's the same idea. So uh, yeah, you can find that all over. So what we're going to do is just take pieces. And there's no real science except for the fact that I do not like um, the straight edges, which y'all know already if you watch my channel. So I'm just basically kind of getting rid of any of those straighter edges. And I'm taking an old paintbrush, and just dipping it in, and we're just going to decoupage just like we would decoupage anything else. And I put that um, layer, I'm going to do the whole flat. We put that layer of acetate in between just so our envelope doesn't get stuck together because I am going to use the pockets in it. But if you would like to just use it without the pockets, and I'm going to overlap. So I will cut off these parts that are overlapping. If you would like to, um, you know, just have it all the way closed up and not use the pockets, then go ahead and, um, you know, don't worry about the acetate. You can just do this. And I am going to use a little coffee because I can tell already that that's kind of light. I just don't want it to get so thin that it's, it's more coffee than glue. And I'm just going to tear these. I just like some of the um, designs and stuff in this. I have no idea what this is going to end up looking like. So we're just going to play and see what we come up with. I thought it would be fun to use that old paper um, digi and really kind of do like a masculine journal. And it's not going to be a huge journal. It's just going to be like a one signature journal. So. I uh, may not be around a whole ton next week. I'm going to try to make videos fairly regularly, but um, my kids have band camp and I go help with the food for that. And then I also have uh, my aunt is coming to stay for a few days and then her sister is going to come and um, have like barbecue with us or something and then everybody will go you know, to my aunt's house. But anyway, uh, so I may not be around a lot just because I'm going to have lots going on. But I will definitely try to keep up with videos and stuff. So I don't know how fast of a project this is going to be. It may not be super fast. It may take us a while. Um, I'm just tearing off this little piece that's on the tea bag. I just didn't want it. It's like where it um, gets hooked to the other side of the tea bag. If that made any sense at all. I don't know. So yep, just uh, decoupaging essentially. I hope you guys yep you can see. And it probably looks really yucky on this blue. Like it's probably kind of hard to see and I apologize for that. It's just I really don't want to ruin my uh, nice mat. So I use this not so nice one to do stuff like this because I don't really care if it ends up getting gluey or whatever. So again, no science to this. It's just do whatever you feel like doing. Because these envelopes are cheap. And so we can just get a new one if we mess it up. And sometimes you just have to try stuff. That's the only way to know whether, you know, it's going to come out or not. So I'm not putting this glue on super heavy. I mean, it's, you know, got to cover everything, but I don't want it to get too, too, too much. And you can overlap in spots if you want. So 
basically we're just covering all of this. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Sorry, I just sort of, I always do that though. I just jump right in because I get excited. <laughs> I was looking at all kinds of stuff. I may end up doing a, um, like, uh, add-on to this particular um, digi because I've found more fun things I'm going to use, so we'll see what, what the interest level is in it first. Because you never know if, you know, sometimes when you do stuff, you're the only one that's feeling like doing that. <laughs> so, see, I am losing a lot of the texture in the uh, paper towel, so it may not be the best, but it's still neat because it does have a design on it, so and the coffee staining and whatever, which is really the thing. And that's really what you can see in that book, um, that first journal that I did, is the staining and stuff like on the tea bags. And this uh, paper towel is funny. It just, you know, because it soaks stuff up more than the I don't like this straight edge, but I like how much coffee's on there, so I'm going to try to just take a tiny bit off. And I don't know whether I'll do the inside of this or not. I may just do the outside. But we'll see how we like it and what it ends up looking like. And then I, I tore that off and I hung it off the side. <laughs> Sounds right. So yeah, this is always a little therapeutic, I find anyway, and I kind of need it right now. I don't know why I'm a just a big fat stress case right now. I feel like I can't get as much done as I want to, and I don't know. I think it's just that whole, you go from kind of relaxing summer to knowing you're going, you know, I got to go back to work and all that kind of stuff, so I know most people have to work all the time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just, uh, believe me, teachers need a little bit of time away from the kids because, wow, sometimes it's a lot. I mean, it's awesome, especially when kids are really, you know, getting it, and, but it's just overwhelming sometimes. So we're kind of coffee staining and decoupaging all in one. <laughs> yeah, see this one's almost entirely lost its, so I'm not sure. I may just end up covering a lot of it with tea, st or tea bags, because that's not really fun if it loses all of its, it'll just look like paper towel on it. Maybe if I am more careful with the It'll be hard to tell till it's um, dry, really. It's kind of like coffee staining sometimes when you do it and you pull the stuff out and it's just sort of like, hmm, exciting. And then after it dries all the way, you can see more of a design or whatever in it, so. Let's do this down here. You just never know what you're going to come up with sometimes. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so much. I'm very pleased because I've been talking to my friend Denise from Wonder Bar Crafts and she's kind of getting back to the crafting so I'm really excited. I know, I know, I know how super hard that is to lose parents. It is the worst, especially when it's the last one because you just sort of feel like, you know, you always have that person there to rely on and talk to and whatever and then they're not there. It's, it's so hard and I totally know, but I'm excited that she's feeling, you know, 
okay to do a little bit of crafting because it is very therapeutic. But I get also not feeling the desire <laughs> to do it. <laughs> And again, in my um, squirt bottle, it's just coffee with like a teaspoon of rubbing alcohol so that it doesn't mold. That's the only reason. Other than that, it's just plain old coffee out of the coffee pot after it brews. It's not instant or anything like that. I know a lot of people use instant. I don't because I drink coffee, so I just use whatever I don't drink. We're just going to kind of scoot this up a little bit. I really like this green paper. This is the first time I've had some and used it. But it's really fun, especially for something like this. And I got kind of a straight edge there, so I'm going to take a little piece of this. Do some layering. And like I said, I have no idea what the paper towel is going to end up being like in the end. So if you've done it before and you're like, why are you doing that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just never done it. So I thought I'd try it. I just have a little pile of scraps going over here because my garbage. I cleaned up my disaster that I had from my last journal. And so. <laughs> Um, my garbage is across the room and I'm being lazy and don't want to go get it so I'm just making myself a little pile over here on a paper towel but yeah it's fun to like use all you know the parts of this you know if you use the paper and the paper towel and the tea bags and you know it's kind of kind of a good thing and I have no idea what this is going to look like I think the obviously the less you brush the um, paper towel, the better probably if you're trying to keep some of the texture in it. I'm using up this glue fast, so I'm going to have to make some more. I guess I'm using more than I thought. Here I am. Don't use too much. <laughs> well, luckily, I have a piece of acetate in the middle. I hope it works. May just be a big fat mess. Let's see, let's make a little bit more glue. I just need a little, I don't have a whole lot left to do. Now if the tacky glue will come out. So yeah, Denise is going to do a design team uh, project for me using my 1891 and my old paper volume 2. So keep your eyes out for that. And Samantha just did um, a journal using the uh, antique posy and that turned out very pretty. I know I mentioned it already, but I just want to make sure I'm mentioning it so hopefully people will go have a look because she really did a great job especially because she um, just started doing videos and that's that's hard I mean it really really is so and I know you can see some glue here it's not a big deal though because it's all gonna get covered and coffeeed and whatever so not worried about it. Let's see, let's use some more. There's so many things you can do with tea bags. I 
like I mentioned yesterday, I've done a, like a little mini journal and then um, you saw that Melody had stamped on one. I think it was a stamp. Or maybe she drew it and it's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I just assumed it was a stamp. But um, they're just fun because they're translucent. So. I just have to set this aside and let it dry because it's a big mess. Often I do these things in my kitchen right by the sink <laughs> so that in case I have a disaster I am near the sink that I wanted to video this because I did have some questions after I showed my first journal. Some people wanted to know how I did it, and so this truly is how I how I did it. I used um, tissue paper, and I did rub it with some of Tim Holtz. Um, it wasn't vintage photo; it was the corduroy, and I can't, brushed corduroy is what I rubbed, you know, all over the edges and kind of all over it because it does have some texture and in spots a little more but a lot of this is just the the tea staining front that was in the um, tea bags and then also using the coffee on it made it like that so it almost kind of looks leathery in a way but you know it's a little bit more random than a leather would be as far as the design on it yeah see it goes away a lot once it gets wet so that's kind of a bummer I mean, I was worried about that, but I thought maybe it would hold it a little bit better than that. But we'll see when it dries. It might kind of show up a little bit again. Hard to say. And I don't know if this will make this really hard or what. But I, I mean, I think it'll work fine. I've decoupaged stuff before and it's not a big deal. If I can get this to you like apart. Still has this little tiny staple in it so funny the difference that I mean I know it's a different kind of tea that you drink and stuff but colors and how some spots get darker and some don't it's just kind of interesting and you can use tissue paper too uh, that gives you another cool effect let me see I need a little more green over there And like I said, wherever it hangs off, I'm just going to trim it off so it's not a big deal. Doubling up on some of those spots for the um, tea bags just because they are so translucent. But it's okay to have some of that negative space like these spots where you can see the Manila folder underneath. So now I'm just kind of, you know, adding a little bit more here and there just for that little bit more interest wherever I think it kind of need something and it 
is pretty sopping, soppy, soppy, especially because I added coffee. because it's got a good dark spot on it and you can see the outline of the tea bag a little I might put that like right here and I did leave a little bit square edge on there but it's okay and I probably will rub it with some distress ink Tim Holtz distress ink I have the uh, vintage photo now I do have tea as well what's it called <laughs> can't even remember tea dye I just have a little one I thought I was ordering a big one one of these days I'm going to learn to read a little bit better on Amazon because usually you can tell that they're the little ones but they tricked me and you know by the time I send it back and everything it's I swear they do that stuff on purpose let me see if I have one that's got a little bit more of a Color. So I have this one, so I'm just going to empty it out. So all I do when I empty them, if you've never done this, because I know I do have a lot of new um, journalers, and so i go ahead and show you guys. And I tore it. Like, if you're really careful, though, you won't tear it. And that when I did the journal where I was worried about tearing it, and I wanted them all perfect. I was really careful to take that out. And then I'll just open it all the way and dump out the tea. And I'm going to do that over here in my garbage can. And then they're just kind of, you know. They're just essentially, obviously, little pockets, so they're pretty easy to deal with. And I know some spots I've put like three layers on and other spots not, but it really isn't going to make that big of a difference, especially when they're as thin as these tea bags are. going to add a little more coffee and I think I'm just gonna let it dry and then if it needs something else once um, you know it dries then I can always add it later it's not like once it dries you're done and you can't do anything else to it you could start all over if you wanted to I mean you could keep adding layers however you want but for now I'm going to let that dry, move my stuff out of the way, and I'm going to very carefully move this over to the other table. Alright, so that's done. And then I have a few pages. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys um, Robin Dudley Howe, I don't know if you guys know who she is, but I'll link her below. Help if I covered up my glue too, huh? She found these little envelopes on, um, or at Target. And I could only find one, so obviously they're kind of a popular thing. Got some images from Graphics Fairy. If I can find what I did with them, that is. somewhere in this mess but anyway they're like little plastic um, pockets and she's been using them and I thought it would be fun to do something with one of those but I don't know where they are right now I really seriously just had them here <laughs> uh, there they are I had them 
cover it up with a piece of paper. So they're these little adhesive squares and they look kind of scary because you're like, it's a big white piece of plastic. But when you peel the white off, they're completely clear. So they're kind of fun to put, you know, like an old image in or something like that. So anyway, I um, got some of these from Graphics Fairy, like I said, but like, like these old photographs. I got those, uh, this one's Graphics Fairy, but this one's, I think I got that off of New York Public Library. But yeah, so this is kind of what I was thinking in terms of a um, add-on, and I would do more stuff than this. I'd probably do some tags and things as well, but anyway, just this kind of stuff to go with this old paper. Originally, I was just wanting it for um, <sighs> sorry, I'm looking for scissors. For, you know, to go on the backs of your digital pages and things like that. But, um, then I, the more I got thinking about it and playing with it and stuff, I think that it would be fun to kind of just have it as its own whole kit. So that's why it doesn't come with any envelopes or things like that because I originally, like the first old paper that I did, had wanted it for um, the backs of pages, the backs of tags, that type of thing. So if you're wondering why those ones don't come with any, you know, it's just more pages of papers, that's why. Because I give you the ones without images, the ones with images, so that you can back, you know, lots of different types of uh, digitals. It doesn't have to just be like this sort of an Old West type theme or, you know, masculine, but you can also back feminine, you know, flowery pages that just the same. So anyway, if you made some type of card and then you could slide it in here, even though this is plastic, it just kind of gives you a neat pocket for your page that's see-through. And so I think we'll be doing one of those. But, um, so I just wanted to show you that, but, uh, the, I'm going to let that dry and I'll come back and show it to you once it's dry. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, hi, I'm back. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this away because it's obnoxious. We'll bring it back in a minute, but I just want you to be able to see what's actually happening here without that glare of blue. So um, it's a teeny bit wet still. It's not 100% dry, but you can see when I was, I used the hair dryer. And so it did start to poof up in places, especially where the um, paper towel was. I lost most everything from the paper towel, but if you can see, can you see kind of the texture of it? So it does give you a different texture. And while I was drying, I um, went around and kind of pinched and, you know, did that kind of thing a little bit, just so that it's not flat, you know, and boring. So you can kind of see, I mean, the texture is definitely there. I'm going to go over it again with just uh, Mod Podge. And I did take out the, um, the center, and that's what it looks like. So we're definitely, I mean, I was going to cover this anyway. I just didn't know how I wanted to cover it. But I think I'm going to cover it with, like, a paper or something instead of more of the Mod Podge, just because, you know, kind of makes a mess. But I, I do like it. It feels really cool. But there's definitely spots where it didn't stick down all the way. And I think that's just the paper towel soaked up a lot of the the glue and stuff or something. I don't know. I've never had that happen where it bubbles quite as much as this did. But so I think I'll trim it up a little bit just so it's not so crazy looking. And then um, we'll put another coat on of just Mod Podge, I think is what I'm going to use. I'm trying to decide because I don't love, even though I have a matte Mod Podge, it gets quite shiny and I don't really love that. I mean, all glue kind of has a tendency to do that, just because obviously it's, I mean, that's just because of what it is, but um, I just really don't want that look of shine on it necessarily. But I guess I could um, sand it a bit, and I may do that anyway. And then when I put the Distress ink on, that'll help as well, so. 
I just want it to be stuck down. I don't want it to have like air pockets and then the whole outside ends up coming off because obviously that wouldn't be good. So it's always an experiment. And just let yourself, you know, do that because like you, one of these envelopes is not even a dollar. So it's no biggie. And like those paper towels would have just gone in the trash. Oh, I'm cutting that envelope and I don't want to cut the envelope. So yeah, I mean, it it's not the end of the world if it doesn't work. I mean, granted, it stinks because you have something in mind and you want it to work, but so I'm going to try Mod Podging it and we'll see how it comes out. I just want to make sure the stuff stays. I'm definitely liking how it looks though. Sorry, this is really boring and tedious right here. <laughs> Just gotta get rid of that. Alright, so see that's looking pretty good. And then once it's like this, and this would be like this, and I will re-poke that hole. I may even try, I have some big, bigger brads. That's maybe what I'll put in there. But it kind of has a leathery sort of a look to it, so. I am liking that. Let me get my ugly old blue board again. And I think I'll put on a layer of Mod Podge. I'm just going to use the same brush that I used because it's not a big deal. It's the same stuff that was on there originally. Yeah, it says matte, matte Mod Podge, but for some reason when it dries, it's not what I would call matte. But then you can see this is shiny too, so I think it's just the whole blue thing basically. So there were a few spots, definitely where the paper towels, you can kind of see the bubble under there. So I want to make sure I get those good, because I think the paper towel just ends up soaking up more of it than um, not. So you just got to make sure you kind of tamp it down a little bit, get it under control. But I really like the color that came out, this sort of, it's like that orangey brown leather kind of a look. Definitely like it. I think these would be great gifts for guys. I gotta start working on ideas for Christmas if I'm gonna make things. You know, some people I make things for, others I don't, but um, for those that I make things for, I need to get on it because that is time consuming, as we all know. But yeah, I think these would be great guys' gifts. A journal like this and you don't have to do a lot of sewing or you know a, a lot of women like a look kind of like this too it's just a simpler not all froofy and lacy and whatever so I think it could definitely and I have images that could lend themselves to a more feminine look so I think it's definitely a anybody could like it sort of thing and I did not put the um, acetate back inside so I'm gonna have to be careful and make sure I get it dried on the inside see there's a air pocket right there so I'm just gonna kind of push on it with my brush hopefully that um, Mod Podge will go through and help it stick down a little bit something about the paper towels because <laughs> it didn't do that anywhere else just where the it was just paper towel it didn't want to stick down this seemed to be the worst spot so you can see it moving back and forth right there it's definitely air stuck in there I wonder if I snip it that'll help it all Let that air get out of there. Okay, I think that'll work. It's, it's real sticky. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna let that dry. I'm gonna go rinse out my cup. And then I will come back and show you guys whenever it's dry. But I'm gonna just let it dry this time because I don't wanna pump any more air under that if possible. 
I'm going to stick my acetate back in so that hopefully we don't end up with a envelope all stuck together. And this piece of acetate I just got from like a paper packaging and I just cut it open and cut it to the size that I needed. So that's all. It wasn't anything special. I need a little more glue in here. So this is a great way to show how we often have to, you know, do some mending and fixing. It doesn't always turn out 100% perfect the first go round. So um, I think that was great to show people who might be new to journaling. Just play with it and see what you come up with. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.